Hey, welcome to another episode of some uh, good old country cooking. Uh, with my name is Justin. I'm with Catch 'Em Guide Service, and uh, not only we fish, but we uh, we also like to eat what we catch. So uh, we got a special treat for you tonight. We uh, called up a bunch of big old slab crappie, and we're doing something a little different. Not your normal fried crappie your grandpa did. Uh, although that's really good, and we eat a lot of it like that, but. We eat so much, we'd like to try different stuff. So tonight we broke out the old Blackstone griddle and uh, we're gonna do some blackened crappie fillets. Now I know a lot of, there's a lot of videos out there already that's done this, but uh, I'm gonna show you how we do it uh, and what sides we pair with it. And uh, so what we make is a blackened crappie fillet and then on the side we have a nice uh, fried rice and then uh, also an Asian slaw to go with that. So uh, come with us and uh, we'll show you what it's all about. Okay, so here's the ingredients we got. Of course, we got some, uh, like I said, some big old slab crappie. I mean, ain't no little bitty, little bitty crappie, big old slab crappie. And uh, my wife, she don't, I know she's weird, but she don't eat crappie. So we got her some chicken, the old yard bird. We got our cooked rice. Now we use jasmine rice. I think it's a little bit better than your normal rice. We got some cooked rice. We got some uh, peas and carrots to go in the rice. Some eggs, of course. Just like you'd go to like a Japanese restaurant. Uh, on the chicken, I use this Blackstone teriyaki seasoning. I think it's real good. We'll mix a little bit of that in with the rice as well. And then on the fish, we use this any kind of uh, blackened and seasonal work. Um, this happens to be Cajun's Choice, Blackened and Season. That's what we'll use on the fish. Of course, some butter. Uh, we've got some uh, sesame seed oil, some rice vinegar, and some teriyaki, and a little bit of soy sauce. So a lot of that will go all in the rice mixture. And then my kids, they like to uh, have to eat. Uh, when they get ready to eat it, they like to use this yum yum sauce to dip it in. Now I got the slaw inside, and uh, we'll. The slaw mixture, my wife's inside making that, and we'll show you that in a minute. It's just a uh, bag mix. We buy an Asian slaw mix that we mix up. It's got a sesame ginger um, uh, dressing in it. It goes really good with this dish. So let's get started. So we start off the Blackstone. We got it on high heat. Get that grill super hot. We got some oil on it. You can use whatever kind of oil you, you want. Uh, I just happen to have some avocado oil. That's what we're using. Um, get that oil nice and hot and good and coated. Um, if you haven't ever used a Blackstone before, um, it's just like a big cast iron skillet, that's all it is. Um, just similar to what you, you go to like a Japanese restaurant and use, but um, it's a rolled steel top and uh, it works really well. So let's do it. Okay, so what we got started here, I just got some butter in this pan and then I'm gonna go ahead and get the chicken going because uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Now I've reduced the heat a little bit. I've got it on like a medium heat. Um, so let me show you. So I've reduced the heat. I've got it down like on medium uh, heat. I've got the chicken going since it takes a little bit longer. And we've also got some butter back there melting. And I'll show you what we're gonna do with that next. All right, so like I said, we got the chicken going. We're gonna first go down with the rice. Again with that, just cook, cook jasmine rice. Go ahead and spread it out good. And next, we're gonna uh, throw in some uh, seasoning and then the veggies and then some eggs. All right, so this is my buddy. He came out here. He's gonna help me. He uh, he actually probably caught some of these fish as well. So uh, we're going to. He's gonna be my cameraman and to uh, help me help me film this. So, what's your name? Jasper. Yep, that's Jasper. He's my uh, fishing buddy. Is that right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna pass the camera over to Jasper and he's gonna film. All right, so we're gonna again put this little teriyaki blackstone seasoning over that rice. Let it get going. And then on all serve, we'll put a little bit of, of uh, avocado oil in that rice as well, so it don't get all dried out. And then next, we'll get the rest of our ingredients. We got some sesame oil. This is what really makes it taste really well. Drizzle a little bit of that on there. And a little bit of rice vinegar. Take much, just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir. Okay, 
little bit of soy, not a lot, and a little bit of teriyaki sauce. Again, not a lot. You don't want it overpowering because uh, you won't taste that good rice. vegetables. Again, it's just a bag of frozen vegetable peas and carrots. We'll add that into our rice. You have to get a close-up of that right there. That look good? Uh-huh. All right. We're going to mix that in now. And that's starting to look like some fried rice. One of our sticks of butter. Cut a little bit of that off. Right in the middle of that for our egg to cook. Just a couple eggs. If you don't like eggs, don't put it in there. Oh, yummy fried eggs. Jasper loves fried eggs. Let's go ahead and flip our chicken. A big piece of chicken. We'll take a little bit. Yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> okay, so we got our crappie fillets. On this napkin, we've been draining it, getting all the water out. And remember about this butter we had back here. Remember this butter we put back in this bowl? We're gonna take these crappie fillets and we're gonna put them right down in that butter. There, you're gonna to to get your hands a little dirty. But you put your hands and just get that butter coated all over them crappie fillets. Okay. Right, it's so good and coated. When you get that, just set that aside. Ooh. All right, so we got my hands washed. Let's go back now and we'll just mix all this together. Drop that egg up. Once we have that, we'll just we'll slide this off to the edge. Get that chicken out of the way. Put that back there in the warm zone. That'll just keep everything nice and warm while we cook our fish. Pause it. All right, so now let's cook our fish. Go ahead and put a little bit more oil down. Not much, because the butter is all over the fish. Spread that oil around. What we're gonna do is use two hands. One's gonna be for that seasoning, and one's gonna get the fish. That way you don't get everything dirty and nasty. So you'll grab a piece of fish, Put some seasoning on it. Don't take much. This right here will kind of give you an idea how much we put on it. Put that straight down on the grill. Might kick the grill up just a little bit now. Straight down the grill. And that's where we'll repeat this to get this all filled up. All right, so come over here, Jasper. I'm going to show you this fish. After we got them all laid out there, we went ahead and sprinkled some more seasoning on top. Now, if you don't like that much seasoning, if you don't like that spice, you don't have to do that second amount. If you like a lot of spice, go ahead and just put more on there. So we'll let this cook a little bit, and then we'll flip it. All right, these have been going about maybe a two minutes, maybe three at the most. Just check it. Depends on how hot your grill is. I think our grill could be a little hotter. I'm going to go ahead and kick it up a little bit more. And... Uh, some of these are ready. We'll go ahead and flip that over. Go ahead and get a close, close up right, right there, Jasper. This, this is what we're kind of looking for. That nice blackening of that fish. Fish are very tender. They'll break apart real careful. So just be careful when you flip them over. But that right there is what we're looking for. So we'll go ahead and flip the rest of these and then uh, get them cooking. Okay, so the chicken's probably not quite done yet, but we're gonna go ahead and just do is go ahead and just chop this up and finish the, the cook process on the grill. Just cut this up in little bite-sized pieces. Almost done. Cut it in half. Just cut up little bite-sized pieces. And it'll finish cooking really well. On the grill. Uh, let me get this back on the grill. We'll mix in some, uh, probably some teriyaki sauce in with that, and then I'm going to wash my hands as well. See you in a minute.
So this chicken, again, it's just some simple, simple dish. And teriyaki, we're gonna mix it in with this chicken. We've already seasoned it some, uh, but last a little bit of salt. That'll enhance the flavor and it's a little bit of black pepper. Not much. Toss this around. And bring this back down on the low. This will finish cooking right there. Okay, again, our rice is done. Let's go ahead and scoop this up. Put it in this bowl here. The rice was originally in. Get it off the grill. chicken off and then once we're uh, done with that we'll bring you back inside we'll show you that slaw mixture and uh, show you the finished product thanks a lot Sir Jesus thank you for our food thank you for our family for the sharing so much amen amen, amen. all right we uh show you some finished product here so here's that uh, Asian slaw I was talking about we've got our our fried rice, and then that blackened crappie. And then uh, on the other dish over here, we've got that uh, teriyaki chicken that I made for my wife, so. Dig in, y'all. Okay. How is it? Oh, good. Really good? Mm -hmm. All right. Until next time, thanks a lot for watching.